Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny back here with another video. This is week 5 of the LOB franchise. Uh, week 4, the file got corrupt, so we couldn't use that footage. But we're here in week 5. We have a couple trades that I'm going to go over. And then we're going to hop into the game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's do it. Okay, so the first trade we're going to go over is Odell Beckham Jr. We traded for him as he was needing a new team at the time. And now he is on our roster. On defense, we made another trade as well. We got Gree Williams from the Browns. The same team. Um, these were in two separate weeks, so I wanted to show that. Obviously, we have Jalen Phillips. And then week five, we allowed everybody to do two trades. So I traded for Jalen Thompson from the Cardinals. That was a huge acquisition. And he looks like he's like 40 years old here, but he's pretty young. So that's pretty interesting. Um, now let's hop right into the game. This is going to be really interesting. This is a good Pittsburgh Steelers team without a quarterback. Um, no Big Ben. So let's see how it goes. First and 10, starting off with the run with Najee. And Najee's a damn good player. So let's see how this game goes. Obviously, seeing the last game, he had 99 yards and two touchdowns. So our game plan is to mainly stop him and force them to pass the ball. So we'll see how that goes throughout this entire game. Obviously, third and nine here need a big stop let's see rushing the passer here with Jalen Phillips and we just get short and they make a good play but we make the fourth down the third down stop obviously taking over on offense here gonna start the game on the ground want to dominate on offense with a really good run game gonna stick to it again on second and ten and we get locked up again third and nine here Let's see if we can get something going. I like that route to Noah Fant, but he's locked up. Seems like we have Jerry Judy, but they make a good defensive play. So we're forced to punt here. First and 10 for Mason Rudolph and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Going to send a little bit of heat here. Let's see. And Najee makes a good play on me, but we blow him up at the end with Simmons. First and 10 again here for Mr. Mason Rudolph. Looks like he's got a man open. Oh, and Jalen Thompson just bats it away instead of making a game-saving pick. Oh, that's so frustrating. As he's got Juju Smith-Schuster there open on the flat. Or on the drag route. Third and four here. Going to man up Thompson. And seems like we have everything locked up. And Jalen Phillips, the new required linebacker, he makes a crucial sack. The force three and out. And it looks like we have Jerry Judy open here on the ten and out. Picking up a first down here. Going to stick to the run game here. And again, nothing going. As you see, we have an injury to our right tackle, Moody. Second and nine here. Going to go with the pass. Let's see what we have. As we get baited, I miss the read to Odell. And Minka Fitzpatrick makes the pick. Really frustrating because looking at that, I made a terrible read. Very frustrating. And now they're in field goal range just like that. So we need to make a stop. And we missed the tackle here, and they pick up the first down. I whiffed on it with number 29. All right, first and 10 here. Need to make a stop, and Chase Claypool on the slant just beats Bryce Callahan. Really frustrating. So we're manning up Thompson here on first and goal. Going to force him to pass the ball. As make a good tackle there, he picks up two yards with Chase Claypool. Second and goal. Looks like they're in a heavy formation here. Maybe you're going to run the ball. Let's see, as he does run the ball, and Najee, oh, and he gets stopped short of the goal line. Forcing third and goal here on the one-yard line. Let's see if we can make a stop. This would be huge. Entering the second quarter, and he sneaks in with his power run game for a touchdown. We take over on offense. Only 13 yards of offense in this entire game for us so far. Run game is going nowhere, and it's... It's shown they have a great defensive line as we pick up a big chunk here. Javante Williams, third and one here. Going to try and stick to it again as Javante finds the crease and pick up the first down. Sticking with the no huddle, play action fake. It looks like we have a man deep and we picked the wrong read again. Getting intercepted by Edmonds and we tackle him at the 47-yard line. Frustrating because watching after, after playing this game, I clearly made some really, really bad reads, and I missed the tackle here on Najee multiple times because I want the hit stick, and I clearly didn't learn because that seems to be a trend throughout this game. 
I just hit stick everybody instead of trying to make a conservative tackle. And so just like that, they're in field goal range again, ready to score. Really frustrating because we're playing some good defense and just like that, they're ready, ready to score. And Juju almost picks up the first down, stops short third and two. Need to make a huge stop here. Let's see. Jalen Thompson blows it up. What a play, forcing a field goal attempt here. And we take over on offense yet again. First and 10 from our 22 yard line. Let's see what we can get going here. As we have the drag route to Noah Fant, you guys know I love him. Noah Fant is one of my favorite players in this, on this roster. First and 10 here, again looking for drags. And we have that little comeback there with Albert O across the middle. Gonna go hurry up offense here. And looking for the run game and it's just blown up again. TJ Watt making a huge stop. I should have thrown the RPO instead of taking the run. It was clearly more open here as we have Jerry Judy again on that out route, really working well against Witherspoon. And gonna try and get something going here. And third and four, we get shut down. Forced to take the field goal. And it looks like we have it. And he is wide right. Had the distance, just didn't have the accuracy there. That's my fault. I'm really bad with field goals. So it clearly shows here. Them taking over on offense again. First and 10. Going to rush him. And he takes advantage of it. That was our zone. And we just missed it. Manning up Simmons yet again. He is just very, he's a very slow player. Very good, but just very slow. And... There we lock that up. Only gain of two, second and eight here from the forward yard line. In the two minute drill here for Pittsburgh. And we have everything locked up and we get a huge sack. Let's go. Third and nine coming up here. Forcing them to pass and it's bad in the air. And we can't make the interception, Bryce Callahan. Come on, they are forced to make a field goal here from the 41. Seems like it's not even possible to make. And he has the distance. They're up 13 to nothing with a minute left in the second quarter here. We need a chunk play. Passing it to Devontae out of the backfield. Gonna call a hurry up here. We need something big. Javante, oh my, have him. But last second we find KJ Hamler on the crossing route. And we need to call a timeout there, and we do. Looking for a big play here with 34 seconds left on the 32-yard line. Gonna bring him to the other side of TJ Watt need a play here and we're looking for it all Cortland Sutton just can't come down with it we might have had Noah Fan on that route across the middle but I didn't want to risk it and it looks like we have a step on the outside Jerry Judy but he drops it again third and 10 here guys for 24 seconds left on the 32 we need a play we need a spark and we have KJ but he drops it again three consecutive drops here Fourth and ten, gonna go for it. Can't hurt, right? Oh, and looks like we have Noah Fan across the middle on the crosser, and he gets out of bounds. Looks like we can get one or two more plays in here to try and get into the end zone or kick a field goal. We need points on the board. This would be huge. Rolling right, and Trey Lance has a lane in the end zone for the touchdown. Gonna go for two here. That would be helpful next. If we score again, we could be up by a field goal, and it gets batted down at the line. Taking it into the second half here, starting on offense. Looks like they might be sending some pressure. We need to get it out quick. And we do Javante Williams in the backfield. And he picks up a little bit. Almost getting a first down, second and four here. Going back to the pass. And we have Javante again out of the backfield. First and ten here coming up. Checking the energy of all my players because I was running hurry up there. Looks like everybody's good. Going to stick to the ground game here. Need to get it going. And Javante picks up a huge chunk 10 yards for the first down and looks like he's short actually they marked him short gonna stick with a run game again and he gets it for sure there let's see what's coming up first first and 10 here gonna go with the hurry up looks like we might have Noah fan outside but we have the new acquired wide receiver Odell and he could score touchdown the Denver Broncos are on the board again 13 13 this is a tied ball game ladies and gentlemen and it's only getting better as we almost get the sack. But I, at the last second, I cut back thinking I should drop into pressure. And we could have had the sack and we missed it. And they pick up the first down. 
Looks like they're sticking with the run game, and it's effective. Oh my goodness, Najee Harris picking up a huge chunk right there. My goodness. First and 10 here, and they're going back to the ground game. We get lucky there with Shelby Harris making a big play, stopping him. Second and seven coming up here. Going to press our, our guys here, thinking maybe he's going to run the ball. And it looks like we have pretty much everything locked up except for the QB scramble, and we get a big hit. But to no avail, no fumble there. You would think our linebacker can make him fumble, but no, I guess not. Going to man up Jalen Thompson here, the new acquired guy. And Juju Smith-Schuster just beats us on the slant. Surprised he doesn't do a dance after that and make a TikTok. Let's see. Going to man up Thompson again here. And it looks like they're going to the ground. And we stop him. Second and nine here coming up. Could they run the ball again in a kind of a heavy formation? Let's see. There's changing out of it. So we're going to do the same. Man up the middle of the field. And we almost have the interception, but we just a little bit too late on it. Let's see. First and goal here for the Steelers. They're going to run the ball. And Najee breaks the tackle, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown, doing the robot. Very frustrating, because I thought I had him stuck in the backfield. We just can't make a tackle there. Really, really frustrating. As we have Cortland Sutton over the middle on the drag route for a first down. Hurry up offense here. First and 10, going to change the play to a draw. Need to get this run game going. We're down, but not by too much. We have time where we can establish the run. 10 for 27 on the ground with Javante Williams. Second and eight coming up here. Going to stick to the ground, like I said. It's been effective, and Javante picks up a huge chunk. 17, 17 yards there. Going right back to it. Picking up a few there. Second and eight coming up here. Let's see gonna go with the pass and we have Noah fan open there we get a weird animation so he falls behind and third and three upcoming we're gonna try and run the ball here see if we can get something going third and three got to check out of it looks like we have the lane open ends we are just a little bit short fourth and one gonna switch to the run game again and Javante's got it no problem first down Denver Broncos going to the play action nothing really open there we think we have a man open in the end zone but Trey Lance finally throws a bad ball he hasn't thrown many bad balls this entire season so far and surprisingly he throws it there in a huge moment and we get locked up on the screen there third and 16 here really need something and we really have nothing open just taking what we can get Trying to get a couple yards. We get one. Fourth and 15. Going to take the field goal here. And does it have the distance? And it does not. Oh my goodness. Doinking off of the uprights. And that just seems like our season there. But we get a huge hit on the quarterback. And he just gets it off. And I'm sorry. That's not even Mason Rudolph. That's Taylor Heineke from the Washington football team. And or... The Commanders now, if you want to call them that. Looks like we have everything locked up, and Taylor Heineke is going to scramble again. That's why he's been scrambling this entire game. I thought it was Mason Rudolph. I forgot that he got traded there. That's my that's my fault. My apologies, guys. And look at like he's scrambling again. Clearly, I don't know how to put on a QB contain. I wasn't thinking about it throughout this entire game, and they just are picking up any yards that they want to this entire game. Looks like they're going to motion over with a run here right up the middle and he picks up a few yards Najee Harris second and six upcoming let's see going back to the ground game and they do and I was a little hesitant thought maybe it was a little play action because I saw Juju coming across the middle first and ten here for the Steelers manning up Simmons gonna try and blow up the run game we get a weird animation as he stiff arms us gonna switch to man defense here giving him a little bit of space Thinking we can lock something up, and he's got Juju again. And Juju is going to get close to the end zone. Could we make a stop? And we do. First and goal from the three-yard line for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Juju having himself a day. Four for 54, picking up yards as he pleases. First and goal here. Can we make a stop? Let's see. Rushing the passer here. And Bradley Chubb brings it home. 
two sacks on the day for Bradley Chubb. Having a great day. Second and goal from the 13 with 2.20 left. Heineke to step back. And we get a pick. It is Simmons. And could he bring it back to the house? Only one man to beat. 74, not giving him trouble. We get a block from Bradley Chubb. And he is going to bring it into the end zone for a Denver Bronco touchdown. This game is back in our hands, ladies and gentlemen. As we have him locked up. And we can't get him on the first try. No fumble again for Heineke. Second and four as he has Najee over the middle. And Najee's going to pick up a chunk there because I can't tackle. My team just can't bring him down whatsoever. Going to bring a little bit of a blitz there. And he Heineke seems to be an all-pro quarterback at this point. 14 for 18. Um, first and 10 here for the Steelers. Looks like they're going to stick to the run game. And we blow that one up. Gain of nothing. Going to stick to the run game here. Try and run out this clock potentially. Let's see. As we lock that up yet again. 29 seconds left. Starting to call some timeouts here. Third and 10. Thinking they're going to stick to the run here. Because a 38 yard field goal was pretty far. Or even beyond 38 yard field goal. Because it's from the 37. And it seems like he drills it. 20 seconds left on the clock guys. We need to make a play here. Can we get a return potentially from KJ Hamler? He's been having a good season so far. No returns from him yet. But bringing it back to the 27 with 15 seconds left. We need to get some chunks here as they're running. Prevent defense. And we need to make a play. Checking to the RPO. And he makes a pick. Really stupid read. And that is our ball game, ladies and gentlemen. So currently, our team has two losses on the season. We're losing this game 23-20 to against the Steelers, led by Taylor Heineke. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like this series, don't forget to leave a like. Leave me any thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next week's video.